I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. You have worked on all of the Saw films in some capacity, and there have been so many wild games throughout the franchise. Which one do you think is the most twisted? The really most iconic one, of course, is the, the bear trap, the reverse bear trap that's on uh, Amanda's head in Saw 1. <laughs> if there's one scene that's put on a space you know, time capsule. <laughs> that would be the one. When we scalped somebody and pulled her, her hair back, I, I remember thinking like, wow, that really looks like it would hurt. <laughs> I'm actually a big fan of the brain surgery trap, so I'm hoping that people <laughs> grab that and take it with that's, them, you know? That's it's pretty intense. A good one. We talked to James Wan at the Megan Junket, and he mentioned that he has the original Billy doll. Well, he made it. I built that myself, so that's wow. rightfully mine. Curious if either of you had, you know, a favorite prop from set that maybe you, you wish you could take, or maybe you did take well, home. He did take <laughs> one. There's a head, a prosthetic head from this film, and I was gonna take it home. He comes up to me, because <laughs> I just need you to know, I got the head. And then I go, well, I'm sorry, but I think we have to get that back. It, because he just <laughs> mentioned it. And then he goes, damn it, I never get to have any of these I things. never get the problem. And then, then he gets on the phone and he goes, you gotta get the head back. <laughs> I have the original head trap. The Lee Warnell wore it in the short. Then we used it in Saw 1 in the beginning, but Shawnee's about 100 pounds and this trap was like, so we eventually built her an aluminum one. So I have the original one they used in the short in the first, in the, in the beginning of Saw 2. I mean, we Saw 1. A, we have a warehouse that has all the Saw stuff. Ah! Talk to us about what process you go through, maybe where you take inspiration when you guys are creating such a unique world like this. We look for dark. We look for it as dirty as possible. Yeah, I mean, a part of it is the giallo films of the 60s and 70s. So we looked at those really rich colors. We also wanted to make sure that we went back to Saw 1 and Saw 2 because, again, we're respecting the fans. The David Fincher uh, girl with the dragon tattoo, there's a kind of sickly yellow in some of the scenes. That kind of color scheme is a little bit older than the sort of colors you see in very contemporary horror movies, and we're like, that's more gross and and creepy than the kind of cyan, slightly yeah. magical look that modern uh, horror films do at night. So we, we, we went back to that a little bit more. This is not retribution, it's a reawakening. Ah!